What's going on, y'all? I um I'm really excited about doing this uh this video because um, I started a series called The Black That You Don't See. Um and finding uh topics were were kind of hard for me. You know, and I didn't want to speak on uh, things that, uh, you know, other people had uh, had spoken on, especially especially recently. If it was a while back, you know, I, I would, you know, want to address it, you know, at this day and time, you know, to keep that that memory fresh on people's mind. If if you've heard about this, then you already know. But. You know, this is for those who don't know. Um, so the the title of this article that I'm reading from is called um, Inspiring Boston Couple Celebrates from Harvard Medical School Together. Um, so here it is. Um, check out this inspiring story about Boston couple named Laura and Nathan Scott who both just recently graduated from Harvard Medical School together. This past Friday, the couple shared some beautiful photos of their graduation, which has gone viral all over social media. Um, Laura, who is also a uh, life and style blogger, uh, posted their graduation pictures on her website along with the caption. Um, and I'm going to put this all in the description box. I'm not going to uh, read it all. Um, Dr. Laura Scott, maiden name Laura Campbell, met her husband, Nathan Scott, while interviewing for medical school at Columbia University. Uh, the two coincidentally bumped into each other again after being accepted into Harvard Medical School. As their Harvard medical education started in 2010, so did their friendship. After being uh, good uh, good friends for a few years, one of Nathan's friends from out of town uh, chastised him for not asking out Laura. As a result, Nathan eventually asked his good friend Laura out. Um, at first, the uh, concept of dating took the two uh, the two by surprise because they had been experimenting with uh, hooking each other up with other people in the past. However, the uh, predestined tr uh, transition from friendship to romance really took off when Nathan popped the big question to Laura. Nathan, 29, and Laura, 26, um, originally planned for a uh, farm wedding in Connecticut, but decided to shift to the city and have their wedding at one of their favorite restaurants, the Sinclair in Harvard Square. While juggling medical school, taking care of their one-year-old daughter, Olivia, and trying to plan for their wedding, the doctor duo married on August 23, 2014. So, yeah, that's it for the, um, for the article, man. But um, it's, it's really nothing that I just wanted to uh, say about this. But it's just something that I wanted to share with uh, with all of you, you know, all of you black people out there, all of my people um, that life is, you know, is 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 not. Keep yourself motivated. You know, uh, uh, a lot of the, the conservative mindset is that you're supposed to automatically know how to do this. It's not automatic. You have to surround yourself with the right people. A lot of people don't have the mindset of, um, some people don't have the drive, you see, um, to, to, uh, to keep, to keep on the path. Just looking at this couple, while I still have some time, just looking at this couple, it 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 makes you it makes you wonder. Um, I try I didn't want to go there, but I'm gonna go there. 
um, how 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 do white people see this? Because there was a uh, black girl who was breastfeeding her baby at her graduation, and they made a big deal about it. Uh, there was also a white girl who was breastfeeding her baby at her graduation, and no one said anything. Matter of fact, they thought that it was cute. But to see this black man, to see this black man graduating with his black woman, okay, that's one man that we know is is not a stereotype. He goes against the grain of the. He he's not the stereotypical black man. The the black man that white white racist supremacists created. The white supremacist system created the deadbeat dad. Okay, check out my um my how white folks got so rich series. Matter of fact, I haven't even made the video just yet. Um, but there's a part in how white folks got so rich that was talking about welfare and how white women were the ones who originally got welfare. It was not until black women started getting welfare that they said there had that there was that no man had to be living with that woman. And a lot of men had to stop living with their wives and their children in order for their wives and children to eat. OK. The sacrifices that they made back then for the betterment of their family ended up turning into something totally different. But this is a brother that I could applaud, Nathan Scott. This is a brother that I could applaud, along with many other brothers. It's not it's not so many brothers that you that you will see. Who. um Who will stand by that woman? I'm pretty sure that they had disagreements and arguments and, you know, and whatnot. But he he stuck he stuck through with it. I would like to read an article on the update of, you know, this brother and sister who, um, you know, graduated together with and to top it off with with masters. OK. Uh, but you know, I'm not going to make this video any longer than I have to, man. You know, uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave a, a like, a comment, you know, like, share, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.